What is your mindset around exercise and losing weight? Do you see it as hard, painful work? Or do you see it as an opportunity to strengthen your body and get healthier? Kathy here, I'm with Weight Loss God's Way, and it is dark still. It's about 7.30 a.m. and I'm out for my forest walk. I actually decided it's way too dark in here, so I walked in for a minute and I'm on my way back out because I don't know what's in here at these hours. Everyone's still asleep and I don't want to wake anybody up. So, a mind to work. Nehemiah 4.6 uh, talks about the Israelites returning back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple walls and they were under the charge of Nehemiah who was a great leader and they faced all kinds of opposition and they worked and opposition 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 and then there's that small sentence in Nehemiah 4 6 that says for the people had a mind to work. And that's what I that's where I want to land because it had me think about what is my mind when I want to put my hands to the plow and work and realize my mindset isn't always there for work. Sometimes uh it's how do I do this the fastest way? How do I do this the easiest way? How do I do this the cheapest way? And I want you to think about your mindset when it comes to work. Are you willing to do what it takes, <coughs> excuse me, to work to get the results you want? Are you doing it in a way that aligns with God's best for you? Are you doing it in a way that's going to get you the results? Or is your mindset, what's the least that I can do? If your mindset is, this is the least amount that I can get away with, then that's not going to work. Good morning. So what is your mind to work? What does it mean for you to have a mind to work? And I want you to think about your health goals. I want you to think about Let's say you've got to work out. You're going, you, you plan to exercise today. What's your mindset around that? Do you have a mind to work? Or do you have a mind to try to get out of it? To complain about it? To think about, uh, to, to begrudge the fact that you have to work? All of those things is what contributes to a mind to work as we read in Nehemiah 4.6. And it tells us that they were able to rebuild the wall, something that hadn't been done in a hundred years because they now had a mind to work. And so that's a clue for us is that's what gets the job done. When we have the right mind, when we have the right mindset, when we're determined and purpose in our heart that we're going to do it, when we know it's right to do, and listen, sometimes, I'm going to say a lot of the times, it doesn't feel good, right? A lot of the times we don't want to do it. A lot of the times we don't want to go the extra mile. A lot of the times we don't want to push. But when we do, that's when the benefit, the result, the success will happen. It's pretty noisy on my street this morning, but uh, I will. And the rain is coming down, but here I am right because I have a mind to work and so this might be a silly example but last night I was uh, jumping into bed and I had to floss and I'm like I don't want to floss it's work it's a it's a bother and what happened was I quickly reminded myself of who I am. I'm somebody who does what I say. I'm, I'm someone who does what I write, what is right. Somebody, someone who is healthy, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, somebody who does things that she knows how to do. So I had that quick self-talk in my head. I renewed my mind. I didn't uh, talk myself out of it and I got it done. And I know that's a really simple example, but think of the things that you put off, 
quickly reframe, quickly talk, quickly talk to yourself, quickly pray, quickly do what you need to do in order to renew your mind and keep yourself in that mindset to work, right? Somewhere along the lines, we got, we got into a belief that work, we shouldn't be working, right? God placed Adam in the garden to till the ground, to work. Work is a gift. And even that mindset might be enough for you to start with, thinking that work is a gift. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. So uh, I, I pray that you read Nehemiah 4.6. I love the book of Nehemiah. So many juicy principles in it. And I want you to think about your mindset, your attitude around working. And know that when you have that mind to work, that's when things will get done. Amen. Have a blessed day. If you're new to my channel, join me for my morning walks and uh, hear what I say about all things faith and health. God bless you.